So you would like to add callouts to your video? Hi, I'm Ken Jordan with Learning Zen. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add callouts to your video using Camtasia. Okay, so here we are inside Camtasia 2021. I have my video on my timeline. The playhead is where I would like to put the call out. So the next thing that you would do is go to the video editing menu, which is on the left hand side, and you would select annotations. When you click annotations, this will open up a library of annotation objects and call outs are the first category. Now right here, there are only, I think, nine selections available. And that's because it's set on basic. You can click on the drop down, select all, and now you will have a vast array of call outs that you can use. So once you decide on your call out, you'll just click on it and you'll drag it onto your video, which will in turn put it onto your timeline. Next, you'll make your adjustments. And this is either where brand standards would come in or personal creativity as far as how you design this call out. And when you're designing your call out, all of that is going to happen on the right hand side, which is your properties menu. So right now I'm on the properties menu on the right hand side and I'm affecting the properties for the text. You can see it says text properties. If I was to click the next one, which is annotation, this would allow me to affect the, the box itself. Okay. The actual object. So let's go back to the text properties by clicking on that on the top, right? And I'm going to change the font so you can change this. Let's say Droid Sans works good. I can affect the size of the text so I can make it larger or smaller depending on your project. You can underline, you can cross out, you can align them, whether that be left center or right justified. You can adjust the vertical spacing. You can adjust the horizontal spacing to spread the letters out a little bit. You can auto resize. You can turn this on or off. That's completely up to you. And now to change your message, you just double click in the box here and just type your message in. And there you have your message and your call out in there. Again, you can make changes to this. So I want to make this so it's all on one line. So I'm just going to extend this. You can just drag one way or the other. There we go. And then I'll just center this. And I think I want to change the color. So again, I'm going to come to the right hand side, the properties menu, go to the top, click on annotation properties. And I want the text rectangle to be a different color. So I'm just going to click here and let's select a blue. Again, you can make this fit your brand standards. If you have the key, you can just type it in right here and that will bring up your brand colors as well. This looks good for me. I can also, if I choose, put an outline around the box. So right now the default is set to zero. So there is no outline, but if I wanted one, I could just extend this out and have a little outline. I can adjust the opacity of that outline. I can adjust the opacity of the box. So it's a little easier. So it's not just a big blue blob sitting in the middle of your screen. This looks good to me. Okay, so I think I want to change the color of this text so it comes across a little bit better. 
So again, I would just double click in here. That will automatically on the properties menu, put me into the text properties. And I would just change the color here. I'll just click and I think a white would work. The white default usually works. I can click there. And now if I click my mouse anywhere else on the screen, it will get rid of this outline so I can get a better idea of what it looks like. And there we go. Now the other things that you can do with your callouts is down on your timeline. I can make this last for how long it stays on the screen. I can make it longer. I can make it shorter. And then if I play this, you'll see that it just kind of pops on and then it just kind of pops off. If that works for you, perfect, great, you're done. If not, you can make some adjustments again. Again, you would do that on the left in the video editing menu and you can use either behaviors or transitions to add a little life to your call out. So, if we go to transitions and I select the fade, I can just drag it down onto my call out and then I can have it either just fade in and then it would fade out. Just adds a little style to the call out instead of just popping on and popping off. Okay, so let's delete this transition so that I can show uh, the other option, which is behaviors. And if you choose behaviors, this will give you a little, almost animation, if you will, a little bit of it. So let's say fly in. I can slide this down, drop it on to my call out and let it play, see how it looks. So it will fly in. and then it will fly out. If you're happy with that, great, you're done. If not, again, on the right hand side, you can affect the properties. So you can go to the style and completely change the style. Even though you selected fly in from over here, you can change it to something else. You could change it to a reveal or a shift or a grow where it will come on grow and then shrink. You can also affect what happens when the call out comes in, what happens while the call out is on the screen, and then what happens when the call out leaves. You can affect all of these and make all of these changes here. You can even if affect how fast that process happens. So there you have it. How to add call outs in Camtasia. If you did find this video helpful, give us a like subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll be coming out with new videos every week. Until next time, we'll see you later.